We've all seen sandy white beaches and islands that look like paradise, but let's mix it up and explore the world's most dangerous places. Some of these are inhabited by deadly venomous snakes, while others are so cold you won't even feel your eyelashes. In this video, let's take a look at some of the most dangerous places on the planet, ones that you should never visit. First up is Death Valley in California. A desert valley in California, bordering Nevada, has been named the hottest place on the planet since temperatures can go all the way up to 134 degrees Fahrenheit. You could probably fry an egg in this heat. Not that you should. Only a handful of deserts in Africa can compete with the high temperatures this California land has to offer. Mostly people who have been brave or stupid enough to visit and stray away from the main well-traveled roads. Death Valley was given its formidable name by a bunch of travelers who got lost in the winter in 1850. While only one of them died, they all thought this place would be their final resting place. And we can't blame them. At two 282 feet below sea level. It's the lowest point in North America and is also home to a number of dangerous wild animals. As if the scorching heat wasn't enough, there are rattlesnakes, black widow spiders, and even scorpions that often find shelter in the dry desert land. Make sure to keep your hands and feet where you can see them at all times. Next, we have Oymykon in Russia. While we're on the topic of temperatures, if you ever complained about the cold, suck it up and be thankful you don't live in Oymykon where your eyelashes could freeze but you'd still have to go outside to pee thanks to a lack of indoor plumbing. It's literally too cold to have bathrooms, so everyone just ends up using an outhouse. We're definitely looking at indoor bathrooms with a newfound appreciation. A small remote village in the Oymykonsky district in Russia, Oymykon is considered one of the most dangerous places on Earth because of the extreme climatic conditions. The temperatures can drop to a crazy minus 90 degrees Fahrenheit, making it very unsafe for travelers and tourists. Although we're not sure why anyone would think of taking a quick vacate to this frozen tundra. Ironically, Oymykon translates to unfrozen water. Who named it? We just want to talk. And this is primarily because of the thermal springs that are located nearby. The thermal springs were initially used by reindeer herders, who would use their warm water to bathe their flock. Oymykon is the coldest place on the planet that's permanently inhabited. Are the people living there stupid, or do they not have a choice? Birds in the area have been known to literally freeze during flight. Now that's crazy. Life isn't easy for the human beings living there either. There are a host of problems that come with daily life in the frozen district, like batteries losing their power, glasses freezing to people's faces, and worst of all, dinner that might never be served warm. Locals in the area often leave their cars running all day because they're afraid they won't be able to restart them. Planes can't fly in the area during the winter season, and the risk of frostbite is far greater than you can imagine. Yikes! And now, Snake Island in Brazil. If you've ever seen that wild Samuel L. Jackson movie, Snakes on a Plane, this next place on our list seems to be inspired from that. Ila da Quamada Grande, or Snake Island, as the name suggests, is a small island about 25 miles off the coast of southeastern Brazil and is infested with thousands of golden lancehead viper snakes. But these aren't just any snakes. They're the worst kind of snakes. Yes, there's definitely a worst kind of snake. Chances are that if one ends up biting you, you'd probably be dead in an hour max. This particular species of snake is incredibly deadly and dubbed one of the most venomous snakes on the planet. These particular snakes can only be found on this island and nowhere else in the world. No wonder they don't like anyone setting foot in their home. Even the locals would never step foot on that island. That is riddled with little snake homes everywhere. Just thinking about it gives us chills up and down our spine. Rumors say that last time a fisherman strayed too close to the island shores, his lifeless body was found drifting in his boat days later in a large pool of blood. Chilling. The island got so dangerous that the Brazilian government eventually made it illegal for people to visit and now fully controls all permissions to visit the deadly island, although we've no idea why anyone would want to visit. Up next, let's talk about North Sentinel Island, located in the Andaman Islands. North Sentinel Island is a remote piece of land with tribals living in isolation for hundreds of years. With their own traditional ways of living, the tribe has refused to connect with the outer world and definitely doesn't like it when tourists from the outer world try to connect with them. Any traveler that sets foot on the island is deemed a threat by the natives and dealt with accordingly, meaning with violence and no mercy. In 2018, an American man's death made headlines when it was revealed he was killed by native Sentinelese tribesmen. Somehow he secretly managed to get to the remote island in the hopes of preaching Christianity to the isolated tribe. With no contact with the outer world, the natives instantly saw him as a threat and killed him on approaching their territory. The natives on North Sentinel have been isolated for ages and have no interest in becoming a part of the mainland, as all efforts in the past have met with heavy resistance. 
It's also best to leave them be, considering they probably have no immunity and might catch terrible diseases, causing germs, and spread it to the entire community. Even a case of simple flu could be deadly for the isolated tribes. Moving on, let's discuss Death Road in Bolivia. The North Youngest Road is a road that's about 60 kilometers long and links the de facto capital city of Bolivia, La Paz, and the youngest region, commonly known as Death Road. For all the right reasons, driving up and down this extremely treacherous road is incredibly dangerous due to a variety of reasons. Landslides, waterfalls, and cliffs falling to 2,000 feet will greet you at every other turn. Until 1994, almost 300 drivers would die every year on this very route. Are you surprised it's got that nickname now? We're definitely not. Since the road connects the Amazonian rainforest to the capital city. It was quite a common route for merchants to use to try and sell their crops and wood in town. The roads rarely extend wider than 10 feet, and the merchants would squeeze their large vehicles to get through. But the dangerous turns weren't made for everyone's survival. Large trucks and buses often went down the steep 200-foot drop with their drivers inside, putting an end to both human life and livelihoods. Despite all the dangers, even to this day, most of the deaths on death road are from local workers and backpackers who still continue to use the infamous route. Also, there are tour operators who lead different bike rides along the road. Dozens of cyclists have lost their lives in the process, but there's been no official stop to these tours and rides. These cyclists are way braver than we could ever hope to be. And finally, Lake Natron in Tanzania. This terrifying lake located in northern Tanzania, Africa, is characterized by its distinct red color, especially visible in the summer months. However, the color isn't really the terrifying part. It's the animal statues. The lake contains sodium bicarbonate that turns the wildlife into mummies through the process of calcification. With its strange properties, this lake is more suited to the dead than the living. Known as one of the most uninhabitable places on Earth, Lake Natron is highly alkaline with a huge concentration of salts, which makes the water very dangerous. The high levels of sodium carbonate decahydrate or natron can cause the lake water to become really harmful for human eyes and skin. Think a burning or stinging sensation, which makes it impossible to even stand near the lake for a period of time. The distinct red-orange color of the lake comes from red-colored bacteria called cyanobacteria, which have made a permanent home in the Erie Lake. The temperature of the water in the lake can go up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, which doesn't leave much room for anything to survive. The only things that seem to mysteriously thrive here are hordes and hordes of flamingos. They've considered this body of water their breeding ground, despite all the dangers it serves for other wild and sea life. Scientists consider the flamingos may have perhaps adapted to the strange conditions of the area in order to have lots of little flamingo babies there. And that's a wrap for this video. Do you know of any dangerous places we might have missed? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And we'll see you in the next one.